Life preservation, that's our number one mission. I believe that comes from the principle of compassion, which maybe you've heard me say in the past, I believe is the number one attribute to a warrior because the more you care about something, the harder you're gonna fight for it. And so we try to keep that in the forefront of product development and our training development, which is gonna do nothing more but stack the odds in our favor. By keeping that in mind, it allows us to look at worst case scenarios to, to develop best case solutions. So how do we go about doing that? Well, in my world, we're looking at how do we simplify the incredibly complex concept of casualty care to improve survivability for yourself or, or someone else you're caring for? So for starters, let's look at the big three. Massive hemorrhage, airway compromise, and attention pneumothorax. History has proven that if those injuries are left untreated, they will lead to death. And in my experience, trying to identify priorities and minimize complex processes leads to making more impactful decisions and leading to better outcomes. And that's basically a KISS method, right? Keep it simple, stupid, or keep it simple, straightforward. But I wanna make sure that you guys understand how that works because a lot of people misuse that. It doesn't mean, hey, keep it simple, stupid, while you're out there training or in, in combat, worst case scenario. Uh, it means keep it simple, stupid in product development, in curriculum development, training development, anything you wanna look at there. So if you're a teacher, instructor, or developer out there, you need to realize, just like these crazy devices that we have nowadays that have changed our lives. Why? Because it's a highly complex device that works around you so you don't have to work around it. And that's what we're trying to do here as we develop products. With that, today, Andrew and I want to introduce a new collaborative product between Soar Rescue and Haley Strategic Partners, the MedBag. It was developed from the medic's perception of, of working off of the body, trying to be as efficient, use good economy of motion, and be quick in your casualty care, where historically, medics would use any open pouch, any, any pocket that was available, and put extra equipment in there so they were able to work off their body when treating a casualty. This prevented the need to, to take an aid bag off or to commit to staying with a patient where you were if the situation or timing didn't dictate. And so we wanted to try and make that more efficient, more capable by developing an organized low profile solution. So with that, when we developed the MedMag, we had two guiding principles, which was performance and profile. Now for performance, the idea was how do we take the, the most capability and put it in the smallest package? Well, we use the Pareto principle, 2080. How can we use 20% of the equipment to get 80% of the injuries you may encounter? Now, I don't think it's realistic to think that you could carry all of the equipment to treat 100% of the injuries that you may incur. Uh, that, that's not realistic. We don't live in that world where we can prepare for every what if. But what we wanted to do was create something that gave you the most capability, and that's kind of what lends into the profile. So now that we've identified the needs of this kit, how do we fit it into the, the smallest package that allows it to be adapted to so many different lifestyles or mission sets. And we wanted to make sure that it was something that didn't impede what you did, but was there when you needed it. And with that, we realized that we needed a better mounting solution. Even though you could put it in a pocket, you could put it in a mag pouch, this really needed to be mounted to your body. It's an important piece of equipment. And this is when we decided to partner with Haley Strategic to, to develop the best pouch for this tool and based on their ability to use advanced construction techniques and then really the commitment to life preservation that I think our organization has shared was one of the biggest driving factors in, in this partnership. Yeah, when, when Andrew gave me his first prototype, which I think you made in some shitty little place in East Africa, um, the direction was sound. And what was even more sound, not just his prototype itself, was also the principles, which obviously we share as organizations of performance and profile, right? Those are two big things that I look for in product development. And so when we took the concept and said, well, how do we take and not abandon those principles by making it as small and as low profile as possible and having still all that capability? Uh, so we ended up using some advanced materials uh, that you're starting to see come out on the market a lot more now uh, and just made it bomb proof as, as best we could because this is life support equipment, right? And I'm not going to ever skimp on life support equipment. So we used uh, squadron laminate materials, uh, which is going to last a lot longer. It's going to, it's the aesthetics are a lot cleaner, uh, way easier to, to manufacture and make this repeatable. And then 
We use heavy woven elastics instead of your cheaper knitted elastics where the little rubber bands start popping out of it really quickly. Uh, I, I want this to last for somebody. Uh, I don't want you to have to come back. As long as you need it, it's gonna work for you, right? Uh, we use these low profile one wrap loops to where I can just rip that open from either side and then get into the contents of the med bag. Uh, as far as the heavy woven construction, which goes all the way around, you'll see it kind of start with these, we call pontoons, I guess, uh, where you can put Sharpies or chem lights or decompression needles um, or anything you can think to put in there. On top, we've got this pocket with heavy woven elastic so you can fit tourniquets in there. Uh, I've seen guys put other devices in there as well, uh, even magazines, if you really wanted to do that, you could put that in there as well. What also is unique about the mounting solution, which I think is a key word here, because we kept saying, hey, we gotta design a pouch, we gotta design a pouch. And we realized that instead of designing a pouch, we need to design a mount. And that's why we call this the Med Mag mount. So you can molly it to anything that you want. Uh, you can see like over on this plate carrier, it's mounted in a vertical position. Um, on this belt, it's slid through on the belt through a pass-through in the foundation of it. So that's also unique and that's hard to find out there on the market to be able to molly something and pass through with a belt. So I can put it on this gunfighter belt here, which is what I use. I can put it on my low profile belt if I needed to. I can put it on a strap system in a vehicle. Uh, I've seen guys put these on some of these seat belts like in Can-Ams or Polaris's out there. Um, I've seen them put them in helicopters. So whatever you can mount it to, we want you to have the capability for, again, this to work around you so you do not have to work around it. But I think no matter what lifestyle, what mission set, what pathway you're on in life, you have to guide your decision making in equipment and training on a universal truth. And that truth is, in this life, you're going to have a moment. Uh, the decisions you make in that moment are gonna impact the rest of your life. But the reality is that you don't get to choose that moment and the moment chooses you. So if your commitment is also to life preservation, don't forget that. Guys, thank you for listening today, and thank you for your commitment to life preservation as well. I'm Travis Haley with Haley Strategic. This is Andrew Rowley from Soar Rescue. Stay sharp and be safe.